uh, well, I don't uh, fit here because I'm neither a biologist or a biologist, or, and we couldn't help anyone by testing him, her, or developing new AHID or protective equipment or whatever, or gear. Uh, but nevertheless, I wish to thank you for invitation, and I'll do my best to uh, illustrate how important the social sciences and societal sciences are for uh, grappling with such a pandemic. This is not the first time that uh, I speak here because the Institute of Molecular Genetics oftentimes uh, invites people from uh, different walks of life. This is obviously some sort of an old version of the presentation. Uh, we'll get back, we'll get back. I'll dash through the presentation. Can, can someone stop it or pause? Uh, click on pause, please. And, and because, as I've said, I'd like to talk about what IDEA uh, platform did, uh, that it's uh, Institute for Democracy and Economic Analysis uh, at the National Econ uh, Institute National Economic Institute. So, now what is important? The pandemic uh, not only, uh, or apart other things, simply influence uh, behavior of families or households, etc., and uh, economy as such, and also a lot depends on what uh, consequences or impacts the pandemic has. We are supported by Academy of Sciences uh, under uh, the strategy AV21 umbrella. Um, and uh, you know we have all uh, we have high publication frequency uh, uh, fields and low publication frequency etc so we are certainly underfinanced but nevertheless let me talk about what we have been doing we were very enthusiastic about uh, this activity obviously um, together with uh, scientists we did uh, epidemiological models also then collected data on household behavior, 20 studies and recommendations, uh, and, and that was done by the NERV National Economic Council, then Economic Advisory Team of the Central Crisis Staff, and of the, uh, of the Economics Institute of the CIC, Czech Academy of Sciences. We have simply uh, decided to to use uh, our models. And we, as a matter of fact, uh, developed these models over the period of one month from scratch. And they are only collaborated. Now uh, we had to work with a certain limited number of data, but it might be useful for the future, like local closures, school closures, adaptive ORP closing, or three different different age groups um, than the municipalities with extended powers approach. We have got a number of uh, models, one uh, being the all national uh, model, uh, all population model, then uh, the blanket and uh, network agent model. But the perspective uh, or the method is just as important as the allocation of social well, one thing is uh, allocation of uh, limited sources uh, in the network agent model. Sorry, the speaker is a bit sort of saying coherent. So, sorry. Well, uh, the 
blanket measures were launched uh, in time, which was extremely important. Had it been one week later, there would have been extreme difference in the total number of infected persons. This is also derived from the state statistics or registration or comparison of regions. If you uh, close uh, Spain or cut off Spain, then uh, there is a major difference as well. So the timing of blanket measures was of uh, great importance. Uh, now we know that uh, blanket exponential uh, distribution may be prevented, but that uh, we had not known then. And also we managed the CIR models. These are with the exception of uh, the network, uh, network uh, agent model or agent-based network. Uh, it all depends on the number of respondents and the area covered. Uh, this is uh, dynamics of the risk of infection by individual contact category. But household survey provided us with current or up-to-date uh, information about the cause of the crisis. Some other data will get uh, due course only. Now we know that one-fourth of uh, households uh, suffer from experience a major drop in income. I don't have time to talk about that. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there are many households that are ready or willing to save because if there is drop in exports and investments, and I'm a member of the National Economic Council, I can assure you that investments in R&D and innovation, that means into the uh, activities with added value, represent the right answer solution. If everyone saves, and households as well, then it'll be far too bad. So. The economy will, um, so to say, um, collapse. So, naturally, households that uh, have lost or are afraid of losing a job and are afraid of uh, a second wave of the epidemics uh, try to save. If you assure the public that all the measures and procedures are effective, uh, it um, will subsequently economically restart the economy, but um, and that can be influenced by the behavior of uh, state authorities. One of the question was, uh, how much would you uh, spend if you were? Uh, I mean, Families with uh, small children uh, would uh, spend, uh, let's say, most of the money, and the multiplication effect would thus boost the household consumption, while uh, retired people or uh, public sector employees who have not lost their jobs. I haven't worked less during the crisis, certainly not. So uh, the, those would uh, save most of the money. This is an example, and that was in case everyone was, or the families were given 15,000 crowns for the family. How would they spend it? We got uh, roughly 20 studies, part of them focus on allocation of tests, and then studies on the behavior of uh, people, simply behavioral effects during the pandemic. Uh, in March already, uh, this, well, these are studies or excerpts uh, from a literature. Uh, one of the first studies clearly talked about the new type of uh, recession, uh, which uh, will derive from an artificially, so to say, um, artificially 
in both situation in March already we also did uh, recommend postponement of payments of for social security and health insurance uh, earlier than anywhere else in the world as soon as in March we also suggested uh, some insolvency proceedings uh, or procedure adjustments or amendments uh, that it's important then how to test for COVID-19. I know uh, this uh, we are delayed already and networking is essential, but this is just to show how f households behaved, how they adjusted to the measures. Goods are by so short hours, simply short time work, non-worked hours, and what sort of an impact the crisis will have. Uh, this might soon be um, published. Uh, saying that her exposure also uh, invokes or rather causes or uh, um, magnifies hostilities against foreigners, etc., which should have been prevented and fl inflaming and different sentiments. Well, uh, this uh, is a uh, education, remote education or education at home as seen or viewed by the parents when kids are cut off from the school. School. I am sure you do know that a lot depends on the family background or family situation, Com interruption of uh, education, whether caused by COVID or longer summer holidays or whatever, teachers on strike uh, only open up the scissors between uh, the kids, depending on the family's background and setting, and the effects are major have a long-lasting impact, uh, lifelong impacts uh, and effects, etc. So these are things we should focus on. And it did uh, result in some recommendation about uh, tutoring or how kids should be perhaps uh, tutored at the beginning of next year, and so on and so forth. So this is uh, to show what social scientists, whether men or women, spend time by, and it's, it's done under the umbrella Ministry of Health. I might uh, quickly touch upon the following. Isn't this a sort of a trade-off? That means a trade-off between health and economy had we not imposed blanket measures or national measures, the economy would have been better off. Um, I could speak about that for some time too, but it doesn't seem to be the case. We should be, I mean, prepared and ready uh, to prevent by contact uh, tracing, location tracking, and partial closures uh, um, uh, to prevent, let's say, next wave. Denmark, for instance, which uh, the did what it did. I mean, obviously, when people are afraid, they uh, don't send kids to school, they don't uh, go shopping, etc. And young Swedes who could attend restaurants, uh, uh, the incidence or drop in um, consumption uh, was not that big in Denmark as against Sweden. Where people die in old folks' homes, etc. Sorry. And thank you. Thank you for attention. I wish to repeat that. Uh, social scientific uh, um, uh, research um, certainly does uh, deserve to be supported in the future, too.